the biggest enemy to mankind is right before us. It's right underneath our noses. Is right under the radar. Is hidden in plain sight. What is that enemy? I'm going to tell you what that enemy is and how to subdue it. Let's get into it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Thank you for joining a toast to the men network with your guy SD. Now, toasters, as you come in, you know the rule. Go ahead and hit the like button. You must hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you are not subscribed. You do not want to miss this good content. The biggest enemy to mankind. What is the biggest enemy? Well, let me tell you something. So many of us go through life saying if I only had this skill if I only had this gift if I only had a husband if I only had a woman a wife if I only had some down ass friends if I only had some money whatever the case may be if I only was not shy if I only spoke well I mean we can go on and on if I was only short if I was only tall <laughs> if I was only uh, you know the woman having that hourglass body we can go on and on right about if I was only and fill in the blank man that can go on forever and that's our biggest enemy waiting on someone to green light us waiting on someone to support us waiting on someone to make us whole now I'm not telling you that these things gifts, talents people are not needed but it's the waiting, the word waiting. That's the problem. That's the sin. That's the waywardness. That's the lie. And that's what's crippling us. Waiting. Waiting for everything to be aligned. Waiting for everything to be perfect before we can move forward within our purpose. And as you're waiting, you're aging. Time is rolling by. And your insecurity is building. Your insecurity is getting bigger and stronger as you're waiting. And the people and the things you're waiting on are passing you by or avoiding you altogether because your mindset is not right and your energy is not right to attract those things. You're waiting on these things to come knock on your door or you're seeking out these things from an insecure standpoint that you must have these things to fulfill the mission, to fulfill your purpose, which is a distraction. The mindset must change for us to move forward. And I'm gonna tell you what's so cold about the game. As you're waiting to exercise your gifts and your talents, your God-given gifts and talents, as you're waiting Man, you got people in your life that are watching you wait. That are listening to you saying what you need to move forward. If you only had this to move forward, if you only had this, you could do this and that. They're listening. They're watching. 
and they'll never say, brother, sister, you don't need any of that. You got everything you need. You'll attract what you think you don't have. Just keep moving forward. Brother, sister, you're gifted. You're talented. I see it in you. Man, you got something special. Just keep moving forward. They'll never tell you that. I'm talking about this group that see your greatness. They see it. They know it's true. They know it's real. They see it. But they also see your insecurity. They also see your self-doubt. And they won't tell you, man, you can do this in spite of. They'll sit and watch. And I'll watch you get old. And then once you get old and once the game has passed you by, once they feel like you're no longer a threat to their ego, to their own insecurities, you're no longer a mirror facing them, then they'll come out and say, man, you could have done this, sister, you should have done this. You're so talented in this. You're so gifted in this. And for years, they sat by and watched. You struggle with insecurity. You struggle with self-doubt. Because they're struggling with the same thing. But they see your greatness. But if you was to ever wake up. If you was to ever see your greatness. If you was to ever to see yourself as a God the embodiment of God, of the God, if you was to ever do that, that would force them to either level up or run, to either hate or congratulate. So they would rather keep you or allow you to keep yourself at that lower level because then they're not forced to face themselves and challenge themselves and step up their own game the secret there's a secret that I don't think has been talked about I don't think it's been uncovered. And that secret is you have everything you need. Now, you may say, well, I don't speak well. I I have a story to tell. I have a testimony. I want to motivate, inspire, encourage people. But I get nervous. I don't speak well. I stutter. You still have what it takes. I am you, you are me. There's somebody out there that speaks well, that is not camera shy, that is not stage shy. That someone will be attracted to you if you're moving forward. You guys will meet at a certain point. Your roles will lead together. Your your roles will meet. But you got to be moving. You can't be in the house. You can't not be working towards your mission. You got to be moving forward. Regardless of what you think you don't have. You got to be moving forward. Because this other person is moving forward. So if you want to meet that person. You got to be moving forward. And since we all come from the source, we're all interconnected. That means you have what you think you don't have. If your brother has it, you have it. If your sister has it, you have it. And I'm not talking about necessarily your your biological brother or sister. I'm talking about mankind. We're all brothers and sisters. So someone has what may be a thorn in your side is their gift, their talent. You have what someone else may see as a thorn in their side. So although 
you needed to connect with this person, your brother. You are me, I am you. We're one. You need to connect with a version of you. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a version of you. You need to connect with that version of you within this period. This other version of you need to connect with you. For whatever reason, whatever you you bring to the table in that life. So if you think in that perspective that I am you, you are me, I have everything I need. I'm just going to move forward and eventually I'm going to run into a version of me that has a strength or a gift or a talent that this other version of me needs at that moment. We're all just versions of one another. That's it. Whether male, female, we're versions of one another. It's like God exploded. And we're all pieces of God. We're all perspectives of God. We're all embodiments of God. But we're all one. So you definitely have what you need. But you got to move forward. And that's the biggest enemy is the lie we tell ourselves that we need something only if we had this and that we could fulfill the mission we could fulfill our purpose that's the biggest enemy stagnation self-doubt insecurity just keep moving forward and you'll run into the version of you at the right time keep moving forward Subdue self-doubt. Subdue insecurity. A lot of us, a lot of my brothers and sisters are with people, are with boyfriends, girlfriends, spouses, wives, husbands. And we tell ourselves, man, only if my wife would do this, only if my husband would do this. No. No. That's insecurity. That's self-doubt. You are where you need to be. You have in this version of you what you need to have. Just keep moving forward. Just keep working. Just keep progressing. It's out there. Another version of you is out there. May have a different skin tone. May be of a different race. Different ethnicity. Different sex. But there's a version of you out there that has what you need to make you complete or to make you even more potent as an individual. But you got to be moving because another version of you is moving forward. So you got to meet up at a certain point. That's facts. Let's subdue. Let's kill. Self-doubt. Insecurity. You have everything you need. There is nothing more you need. As always, from me to you, love, peace.